Well, the firm behind the infamous Trump dossier is ready to testify before the Congress. Glenn Simpson, the former reporter who founded Fusion GPS, took that money from the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign, we now know, in order to create the dossier. The dossier, of course, was full of salacious but still unproven gossip, and it was used in the end to justify a far-reaching federal investigation that has turned Washington upside down and basically stopped all productive work here. Kim Strassel serves on the Wall Street Journal editorial board. She's written extensively on this. Recently, she called the Trump dossier one of the dirtiest political tricks in history. She joins us tonight. Kim, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me, Tucker. So you, you called it a, a dirty trick. It was obviously opposition research. Was it, do you think, qualitatively different than conventional opposition research? Well, that's a great place to start because I think we do a disservice when we even call it a dossier. It gives it too much mystique. This is an oppo yes. research document, but of lower quality than even oppo research documents. Normally, and look, all campaigns do this, but usually you dig up uh, a driving under the influence conviction right. or that you didn't pay your taxes one year, you plant it in the press, it makes the candidate look bad. This is a document based on unnamed, anonymous Russian sources, apparently. They've never been proven. A lot of them have been disproven. Uh, but then here's where they were particularly clever. They went, and rather than give it to the press, they sent it to the FBI and then they briefed the press and then the press was able to claim that this was intelligence that the FBI possessed and it gave it some air of credibility. So, I mean, this bundle of opposition research changed American political history and, and not in the ways that it normally would, right? I mean, you're, you're saying that this really is responsible for this chain reaction that's paralyzed Washington ever since. Well, look at what happened. Uh, so, you know, the Democrats like to say, well, this document wasn't even used during the election. Not true. We know that Christopher Steele, who put it together, he's testified in court documents that he briefed the press in September. Uh, Yahoo News came out with a huge story saying that the FBI was in possession of intelligence showing potential collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. The headlines were dominated by this. And the question that we still have yet to know is we know the FBI relayed on, relied on this in some regard, but did, did this document actually inspire the FBI to end right. up wiretapping a political campaign, which is no small deal, by the way. So I'm unclear. I mean, I, th I think that's right. That's the key question. That would be the most shocking effect of it, because that's so obviously corrupt. But I don't understand why we don't know whether that happened or not. Yeah, well, the FBI has been playing hardball about letting House investigators see their file. Now, supposedly, they've agreed to let them go in. They've started to put some things, make available to House investigators. But all of this should be, I mean, the thing that I think some people don't understand is that when you're dealing with the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, it's not like uh, you put in a request and they say no. It's a back and forth discussion. Somewhere in the FBI is a big file that explains exactly what the FBI was putting forward to the court as justification to go ahead with the tapping of Carter Page or Paul Manafort. But I, I mean, the House, in, the House oversees the FBI. I mean, I don't understand how the FBI can just ignore that. If I get subpoenaed by House investigators, can I just give them the finger and go to Barbados and just think it's okay? I mean, how, how are they allowed to ignore that? Well, it's this separate problem that we have that the House is having trouble more and more with its enforcement authority. And that is, in essence, what the Justice Department did. They said, sorry, we're just not complying with your subpoena for a while. Um, they now appear to be putting some things out. But uh, from what I understand, not everything that they need to put out. And here's the funny thing is every time they have an excuse for not giving it, they say, well, it's because of Special Counsel Mueller. Well, if Special Counsel Mueller is actually doing this entirely because the FBI misused a dollar, say all the more reason for house investigators to be looking at how this started it's unbelievable i'm gonna try that on my taxes next year no i just you know i just don't feel like paying <laughs> sorry I'm, not, I'm gonna pass this year exactly kim thank you for that that was really interesting thanks for having me